this our 88th show and our 100th anniversary is no different because what John is going to do and introduce today, we believe is amazing. So we want to get right in front of this and support this idea. Ladies and gentlemen, John Maroney from Cal I'd like to start by thanking um, CC and America's Beauty Show and the board for allowing us the opportunity to come and speak with you today. Um, many of you know me, I've spoken to many of you over the years, you know me in my roles with um, a different brand other than um, Goldwell and KMS. Today, um, I'm standing before you uh, not just as a representative of a manufacturer, but also as a hairdresser. I've been a hairdresser for almost 28 years, and we know that with salons, and what we face, we know that with salons and stylists, what we face out there is a shrinking market in our service income. As the lines between consumer hair color and professional hair color become blurred. And I'm so happy to be able to introduce a campaign that we are sponsoring that we believe is going to be the proverbial rising tide that lifts all boats for the professional salon industry in the United States. And that is to stem the migration of clients away from professional hair color services and back into the professional salon where they belong. So as a hairdresser, this is very, very important to me. And I know that it's very important not only to all of you in Cosmetology Chicago, but for those of you that are members of the press, it's very important to your readership as well. And our company has gone through some pretty amazing change over the last eight months, and it is my privilege now to introduce to you the gentleman who has really been the architect of that change, the new president of Cal USA, Goldwell and KMS. Please welcome Mr. Corey Cowles. So, as John said, where we find ourselves is at a crossroads. But what we've found over time is that we've lost clients in the professional salon industry to mass market and box color. And we felt it was time for someone to take a stand in that regard and educate consumers on behalf of salons. Not so much on behalf of our company, because as John said, a higher tide raises all, raises all boats. So this is where we find ourselves, and we would like to start bringing some of that business back. So what we're introducing is a multimedia campaign to educate the public on why they should be coming to salons. The first part of this campaign is a viral video that's based on the Blair Witch Project. So as our inspiration, as our inspiration, we have created a video to be shared online that's a non-branded video. It's something that any salon can share with their clients or any company can share with their customers because we'd like people to get this message. So it's just a fun way for us to make our point. And I'd like to show it to you now. Thank <laughs> you. 
a fun take on uh, what we've all seen in the salon. I know as being a salon manager in my past, uh, we've all seen those stories before. And as much as we like the money from color corrections, we wish those people hadn't done the box in the beginning. So what happens when you go to colorhairdresser.com is you will see this, again, non-branded, uh, the top 10 reasons to call a hairdresser. And it's a fun way for us to let people know that have seen the video because they've received it virally of why they should come to a salon. In addition to this, we're going to be collecting, as time goes on, horror stories from consumers and from hairdressers on how box color has affected their life. Um, and part of this um, is quotes from different hairdressers, one of them being the face of our campaign. And the face of our campaign for the consumer media and the face of our campaign for the trade media uh, is the best person that can live in the world. world. And that's Nick Fantastic to be here. And uh, what a great video, too. That was the first time I got to see it. <clears throat> when, um, when the guys told me about this campaign, I was thrilled to um, you know, be asked to be the face of it. Because um, I think Core is right. The consumer needs education big time. They don't realize that um, it's not what's in the box, it's what's on your head that's more important. And um, I think anything we can do to drive business to the salons is critical for us because obviously we want to grow our business and we want to grow our brand. The reality is, is hair color is a huge business in America. It's a huge business for me as a salon owner. At this moment in time, I probably have 50 clients sat with color in their hair in my New York studio. So I'm really thrilled to be able to be out there to educate the consumer and to try and bring some of that business back into our salons. I think it's really exciting and it's something that I'm really proud and privileged to be a part of. I'm really excited and I definitely think it's going to help to create more business for the professional hairdresser and at the end of the day, as a professional hairdresser, that's what it's all about. Thanks very much. We have a two-pronged approach, and one of those prongs is the viral campaign, but the other is a consumer campaign, which is a more traditional campaign, and yes, it is branded with gold well, but it also is, has one goal, and that is to bring consumers to salons. Uh, no matter what kind of color they happen to be using in their salon, they will get the message, and they will take home the message that we're sending home to them. We have a blonde, a brunette, and a redhead that are going to be coming out throughout the year in print media, each with its own tagline, but the overall tagline for the entire campaign is, as you can see, you can't get supernatural from a supermarket. So we're putting it right out there, right in the face of the consumer so they can see exactly what we mean. With that comes a TV campaign. So we'll also be 